Hello guys, how are you doing? Today I wanted to show you how to target your pronation at its best or honestly. So in this video we will have how to target it best for hypertrophy, some ways that are not that good in my opinion and why it does help a lot with it. So let's get straight into it. Now I seen a lot of guys they'll do it by taking the weight and putting their thumb or their wrist or something like that and doing pronation curves. Yeah? Something like this. Now this is a great way to work on pronation back pressure and for building muscle, but as you may know, or I will show you, for the act of turning the hand inwards, we have the pronator quadratus, pronator teres, and the brachioradialis. And this means that we are not using only our pronator teres. Not so good. Another way I seen people do it is by taking it like this again to the thumb and putting on a bench yeah great way this is pretty good but it can be better because by putting it like this it can hurt our wrist and hurt the wrist joint another thing that we don't want it will happen mostly with heavy weights other times I seen guys do the Devon Lara pronation which is done like this I can do it better but that's how you do it that's an isometric Go little good. That's an isometric, you know, hypertrophy. But I found other ways. So we know that when we engage back pressure with pronation, we are mostly targeting our brachioradialis. Not bad, but if you want to get a big pronator just like me you need to target it for hypertrophy so that were the ways I found that are not that good they help transmit to arm wrestling but not the best way come here so that I can show so I put the weights on the pulley system and I see other people doing it like this from the side less back pressure which means more pronation to the pronator teres but it can still be done better so how I like to work it is by taking something like this to make the vector and the force apply to my wrist a little bit higher. So I'll sit on the table because I'm lazy. Wrap it on the wrist, come here. Wrap it on the wrist. and through the thumb so this way you'll increase your pronation through the wrist and thumb it applies to a strap arm wrestling match then we take this and put it here for more torque then we come like this and put our hand on the ulnar side so to block the ulna 
from back pressure, side pressure and anything. That's because if you have a weak side pressure, you don't want to target it that much with heavy weights. So, and you do it like this. This I find is the best way to work your pronation for armor sleep. It will carry over to the strap running here and you will see a lot of growth. How you can do it is also by kicking the wrist back. By doing that we also take the pronator quadratus out of our way. Which is a pretty nice thing. Then, as we finish it off with this chapter of how to work your pronation as the best and some other ways, like I said in the beginning, then we have how does pronation help a lot in an arm wrestling match. Come right here, good. So, let's say we come right here. And, yeah, most guys will tell, use back pressure. Yes, I know, he can't take his cup. And I can keep his hand flat. But, in a, busting the wrist back is 70% pronation, pronation, back pressure, and 30% pronation. But if you are more of a side top roller, just like me, so I, I drag and cup a little bit and go to the side with pronation. Then I think that there's a 60 to 40% margin in favor of pronation, which means that I need a very strong one. And a bigger muscle means a stronger muscle. I can work it through the Devon Laura pronation lift and I've got it perfectly. I can work with this for endurance and hypertrophy and I've got all I need. So, yeah. Now, when we are supinated, then there's more back pressure to do the can opener and reverse side pressure, but we need to work all aspects of arm wrestling, including the wrist, pronation, wrist rise, cup, but that will be in another video. So pronation is used for defense and offense. In defense we use for open top roll, defensive top roll, and also to not get torn in a hook. A top roller is killed like this. Or if you are a king's mover, other styles in the inside lane, then I don't have anything. But if you are, let's say, a super heavyweight, then you're done. You're almost done. So it's used for defense. Then we've got a fence. Then you need to work for offense we have low hand top roll and sweeping top roll don't forget about sweeping top roll so for sweeping top roll we go like this with side pressure very fast way to win or a low hand top roll like I do drag cup and side pressure that's one of the safest way to finish fast. It includes a lot of pronation. That's because if we go to the side, we don't use that much back pressure. And it turns off and we need more, more of this and this. So, this works for the video of today. Now, if you really want to see how does pronation really help, I will post in the next video in how to top roll against a very strong hook 
and why does this lift help a lot with top rolling against it I will show why posting top roll doesn't help that much and other things so as I said work everything subscribe if you like this video give me a thumbs up and push the notification button to don't lose any more news and see you in the next video bye